Hey guys, it's Rockus. So um, I wanted to talk about a little loving, a little thing that I have been itching to wanting to talk about with you guys, and it's the love for ducks. Yes, D-U-C-K-S, ducks, as in they go quack. And um, me personally, I love ducks a lot. Um, when I used to live in my, uh, my parents' house eight years ago, um, you know, I didn't have a whole lot going for me. You know, I had white walls, um, I had limited time to talk with everybody. I personally, I think I have a speech impairment. I, I, I'm bad at talking. Like, some people are like, hey, you know, you should go scripted, you should talk and everything. No, this is actually how I talk. I absolutely am shy to the death of me. Like, I would love to meet more people. I would love to talk to more people. I would like to text more people and be out there a little bit more with, you know, the friends. I, I'm just really shy. And I just had, you know, this really harsh uh, kick in the butt when I was 18 when I got kicked out of my house. And, you know, it's just like any other guy. You know, you just got to tough it out and you know, make the best of it, you know, get a job and, you know, work from ground zero up. So, ducks were just kind of like a, something that just made me really happy. And I treasured them like no tomorrow because, you know, you don't, you can just buy a duck for like a dollar at a store or something like that, or dollar tree. Well, I, at the time when I used to work at one, it kept me company. It was like a materialistic object that could replace somebody. That to me now, I don't think I can buy anything in this world that I can replace for the love of my life. I personally, you know, have this person that I, you know, love to death and I would never replace them. You know, I, as far as me, you know, I become very attached. I become not clingy, but I become very, you know, I, I become very, I'm trying to think the word. <laughs> I, be, I become very caring. And just because of that, you know, I'm thankful just to have that person in my life and that would actually want to spend that time with me. So, you know, as stupid as something like as a materialistic duck would be, you know, anything could compensate for, let's say like if somebody else had like a, like a favorite wall or a favorite, you know, like a favorite t-shirt or something like that. You know, it's just, it's whatever makes you happy that, you know, and nobody wants to be miserable. Nobody wants to be sad. Nobody wants to think bad thoughts, you know, find or get something that, you know, that neutralizes you um and i i absolutely have like everything duck oriented my bathroom is covered in ducks my uh my prop that i've showed you guys um which i unfortunately don't have <laughs> and i have you know lots of uh lots of art that orient with ducks just because you know i just love them I don't really know much honestly to say about them other than the fact that I would probably get more duck art or I would get more ducks just because as a child as you know my inner self they have saved me at some point and you know if it weren't for them you know I would have not have been motivated to you know be here or have the job that I have or you know work as hard as I could without them. I, I I love them to death. And I'll still probably love them until, you know, my day has come. But, you know, ducks are cute. I love ducks. <laughs> so, I, I, I don't know if my fursuit is probably saying fucks with the letter F instead of D. But it's going to be interesting when I watch it. I'm just going to upload it later. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's my that's my video about ducks. If you guys want to see a video or uh, some things that are just similar to this one, uh, comment below and 
I'll do more videos about ducks or, you know, cars or bucks, whatever. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.